today's video I will be showing you how I did the quilted effect that I have on this week's manicure. Uh, this is not really all that difficult because I used a stamp to use as a guideline, as you can see here on my swatch stick. The image that I used is from Leslie Plate number 14. This is a Russian brand of stamping plate, and I'll put the, um, the link to purchase down in the uh, About section. And to paint with, I've used my ever trusty uh, fine detail brush here. Uh, one coat of the whipped cream, uh, IBD whipped cream. To stamp with, I use the Maybelline uh, Bold Gold. And to paint the inside of the diamonds, we're using the Mosaic in Snow White. And like I said, if you can draw between the lines or, or color between the lines, you can do this. It really is not difficult to do. It's just a little time consuming. So we're just going to take a little bead of our, not much to start with, because we're just going to kind of outline just inside those gold lines. You do want the gold uh, to show through. So we're just going to do kind of a bare outline. in that center area and once we get that outlined I'm going to pick up a larger bead of the gel and I'm going to place it in the center and I'm going to kind of float it out towards the corners of those diamonds. You want to do that, you don't want to leave that drop in the center it's going to look kind of funny you want this to have kind of a pillowed effect so you do kind of want to float that uh, gel out towards the corners so you get a nice gradual sloping as you can see these are thick very pigmented and there you have our first part of that there. These are LED and UV cured. I am using my Gelish 18G LED lamp, uh, 30 seconds. Um, generally is all you need for this. What I'm doing here is simply flash curing it just for you know three or four seconds in the lamp uh, just to be doubly sure that the um, gel paint doesn't um, spread. Uh, generally they're very good about not spreading. Body heat can cause uh, that to happen but uh, these are our these are very nice. They generally stay put where you put them. And I'll also put a link uh, to purchase for this particular brand as well in the About section. Uh, they are a little pricey, but in my opinion they're worth it because uh, you, if you're using it for this type of nail art, unless you're in a salon, if you're a DIYer such as myself, it'll be a long time before you use up that entire pot. So uh, for the money, I, I believe that um, it is worth it. I think it runs approximately $17, $18 a pot. And um, the only one I've found so far is a Canadian uh, distributor. And again, I'll put the link down below for it if you're interested in purchasing. So again, just fill in those diamonds, flash cure every one, two, or three, depending on how quickly you can move. Now, I really want to try this in black. I haven't tried it in black. I did try, uh, I believe, uh, one other design where I used a thicker layer of the black and it did not cure fully. Uh, and one other thing with that as well with the white, be careful that there's no bubbles. 
uh, in that area because if there is, when you cure it, I actually had a couple of bubbles pop up and after I flash cured it, it would actually, uh, some of the uncured gel beneath it would not, um, it would ooze out through that tiny little hole from the bubble. So be careful not to have any bubbles in that. So I've just taken it out of the lamp that I've cured it for one minute. I did want to make sure that it was completely cured and now we're ready to apply a layer of top coat. I did a very thin layer uh, because there is that stamp that's still showing through. I wanted to make sure that that was protected with the gel top coat. So I'm just kind of pushing it down into those little nooks and crannies. You want to make sure that there are no bubbles. Uh, before you cure it and you also don't want to flood uh, with any top coat because you will lose the 3D effect if you put too much top coat on there. So now we're ready to pop that into the lamp for about 30 seconds. And for that other uh, nails for the other nails I used the uber chic uh, number one plate from set number one for that cool kind of gradient line design that they're right there and added some metal studs and we're all done so there is our quilted effect let me turn off the light and get a better see if you can get a better view of just how 3d that looks and I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down at the bottom for me. As always, I really do appreciate everyone's support. And until next time, I will see you guys later.